you will often have the opportunity or would like to add data to your project or your mapping project that isn't data that you have on your hard drive or that you collected yourself. There are lots of opportunities to serve data over an internet connection and one of the most common aspects or the common ways of doing this is by adding a base map. Now a base map or a built-in one when you install QGIS that you can always add to your project is OpenStreetMap. So if you have a look at your browser and you scroll down slightly to where it says XYZ tiles and you expand that, OpenStreetMap will by default be installed already. So if you just click on that and add it to your map view, you'll see that the OpenStreetMap layer has been added. And if you zoom in, you get all the information that is accessible to you through OpenStreetMap displaying on your map or on your screen. So this is a great base map to use. However, this is not a satellite image base map. And if you, for example, would like to just have a um, natural view look to your map, or you would like to perhaps use a satellite base map for things like digitizing, so creating your own data on top of the base map, you can do this by simply serving one of the many options available to you through to your map project using this XYZ tiles functionality. So how do you do that? It's very easy to do. You just right click XYZ tiles and you can say new connection. A new window will open up as you see here. And you can then populate this window with the requisite information. For example, were you to ever lose the OpenStreetMap connection, it does happen, you can simply just activate it again. That is the link to the OpenStreetMap there. You can, of course, give it a name, and then you just simply say OK. Then you will have that option appear in your browser or your table of content. If you add it in, you'll see that it is exactly the same option as you had from before. So this is the same version now. There are many other options available to you. For example, how about I would like to add a Google hybrid map. So you right click again, say new connection, give it any name you would like to give it. So Google hybrid in this case, just quickly or simply add the URL there. And the functionality will be immediately available to you. Add the Google hybrid in. And the Google Hybrid base map is now accessible to you. As with any GIS, there's always more than one way of adding data or performing a specific tool or functionality, as with this one as well. It is not only right-click XYZ setting, saying new connections. That is not always the case. So how do you add a base map using a different functionality? Well, you simply go to Layer and you say add layer now this functionality of course is in terms of any kind of data that you would like to add so here again we would like the add xyz layer simply click on it and complete the window so here we have the google hybrid connection these are the existing ones i have so we can remove them for example i would like to remove the google hybrid one it will no longer be available to you now or I can say a new one. So a new one, again, is the previous window that we saw. So I'm going to again say Google Hybrids, Get, put in the URL and add and the Google Hybrid is automatically added to your layer list. So the difference between the two is if you go to your browser and you right click the XYZ tiles, you create a new connection. However, this does not automatically add the data to your layer list or to your map view. If you use the layer and you say add layer and add XYZ layer, you will add the, the actual data to your layer list with immediate effect.